So it's uh, it's uh, quite Thursday today. Come on, Thursday. Going onto this van lift, onto this uh, joist lift now. What I tend to do, if you can see here, I'm going to scaffold uh, right measurement. I'll gauge all four corners. Right measurement each corner. I go to IS once, and I know what I need to pick up to be IS measurement. Um, so when I get above, I'll know uh, to, to what to what gauge to go to then, and then I know it's all going to be the same level all the way around. So yeah, right. See you next one. So we got all that up. Left his block off there. So we put his briquettes under that block under his lintel. Um, there's another one done. Couple hours, it's gonna be a couple hours to do that. Right, a couple hours to them pillars. I should have done them. I did me big corners, as you can see. But I didn't on that day. Obviously, we had an half day. Future, I'll do them well. I'm on my big corners. Now back up here and this squaring this up. It's only 11 course on top of here. 11 course. I've got to sell that tray in. because uh, that's fucking moved, obviously. Uh, Scaffs is a bit narrow, but I suppose. it's what they can get in but I don't know oh, it's just weird it's weird why not I don't know I'm not a fucking scaffolder um, so yeah uh, Mel's loading the front out I'm loading this gable out we're gonna get another pack of rigs at all move that to there you know, we've got enough gear to last us a bit and it's only a it's only gonna be recap how they want it. They want two courts of briquette and then the and the block. We'll see. We'll see how we do it. Right, we're going home early today. It's it's now 20 past 12, we'll be gone by. See you in the next bit, see you in the next So we got all that loaded out, profile on, profile on, we're on a big corner out, same identical I did with Gable, just half as I. No banders on this lift, and there's uh, other soldiers, that's 11 course when we go. And we'll come down here and I'll run in, I'll run in probably up to this expansion again, same in two goes, so I've got like a bit of pillar building. See if we can get 500 bricks down tomorrow, and then uh, yeah, at least one gable, half the back, half the front. So, yeah. It's one o'clock, we're going on. I'll uh, see you in tomorrow's clip. <coughs> hey guys, um, I'm just letting just a bit of a little clip in between the next video. That's why I'm leaving early because uh, my chest's been terrible for the last uh, last two weeks or so. So if you think like I've been not bothered or not putting effort in or whatever, I'm basically taking the sort of you know maybe not very smart. Maybe I think it's a little bit smart approach to part time working when you're not very well. Um, probably after if you don't clear up in like two weeks I might have to get my antibiotics but I'm alright um, it gets worse on the night you know so I've been sleeping down here on the settee where I do all my vlogs and stuff um, don't sleep upright because you can't fucking breathe um, yeah inhaler's getting me through the days so if you guys think that I'm like flaking or fucking can't be asked to do anything or you know, it's not because I don't want to, it's just because chest won't let me, so that's why I'm knocking off early and working a bit slower, really, so. Alright guys, see you in the next clip. I lost my best friend to 23, she left her body and hovered above me. I saw no shadow, I looked around, searched every building and home that I found. I saw no shadow, but felt a glow, the warmth inside me kept me afloat. Felt like heaven and found my bones And gave me comfort when I feel alone Now you're gone, I'm alone I guess it's time to get better Through the pain, I will go alone If I fall, break my bones I will scream even louder Cause I'm not dying My best friend to 23 
She left her body and hovered above me Dying again and again I went through hell Instead of death But I keep fighting with each living breath I saw no way out From where I stood Felt like the fire had burned me for Now you're gone I'm alone I guess it's time to get better Through the pain I will go alone If I fall guys a bit of voiceover part of the video um, just running in obviously the same technique uh, doing the back and uh, two-thirds of the gable in one big corner um, the only reason I'm doing this for anyone who don't realize I know you, you'll see in a lot of the way I approach these builds I do big rack backs big corners sort of thing um, I got I saw one comment saying you could take that corner all the way to wall plate and the reason I do it uh, is for motorboard setups. Um, I've got about eight or nine motorboards. I think I've cut myself uh, just with a circular saw, but I don't like to set them all up at once. It's a lot of hassle loading them all up. Um, <coughs> the mortar, you know, the ready mix, it does last a while on them, so it's not for that reason. But I find I spread myself too thin on backwards and forwards, so I like to sort of condense myself into one area. So that's why I. I don't really tend to take on much longer than like 30 brick runs, 35 brick runs. Um, and then I, I can get things up, you know, in sections. So it's good. I only need to really have four spot boards out. It's good for loading up and stuff. <coughs> it gives Mel like a good size uh, area to joint. She jointed up um, basically all the brick work today. She's getting really good. Um, I've got a top and tailing and stuff when it's really wet. Uh, I've not been being as precise with the top and tailing all the time because a lot of the time the brush does get it 
because I do brush all the work off. Um, I've got a few brushing techniques for these concrete bricks, how to get them looking pretty much 90% even when they're wet. Um, I'll go, I've, if you go back to watching my video where I build the back, uh, I think it's called Friday, you know, I think it's called like a Relax Friday or something, if you watch that video, I do a bit of brushing off te techniques there, check that one out if you want to know. Um, we're obviously using Ready Mixer a bit at the, at the mercy of the material, uh, obviously that's why I'm long spreading it with pick and dip variation, I'm either doing pick and dip or I'm putting a head joint on or I'm I've been practicing um a little bit a little bit of a different way of perping the brick uh it's the way you're putting the perp on the back of the brick but in two motions so you're doing um the bottom side of the back perp joint and then the side um I sometimes used to butter the back of the brick with um mainly uh uh, like a three motion perp, but I've been trying out the, uh, the two motion perp, but you still can't beat the pick and dip for speed um, with the long spread, especially on these bricks. I've been getting my two swipes pretty much down pat, um, just taking my time really. Obviously, I've been a bit under the weather this week. It's still not really much better, but I'm, I've managed, you know, I've got four days in, um, you know, basically finishing off what most would consider the fiddlier parts of an house, you know, squaring up, front and backs, you know, stuff like that. But I always make it pay. Um, and even with the bollock I dropped the other week with the meter boxes, didn't end up getting paid for those. So I did that to alter them, take the hit myself there, which, you know, a bit of an oldest trick in the book, saying you're going to get paid and then, you know, altering them, not getting paid. But we'll know for next time. Um, so... Um, stuff in, doesn't always go to plan, you know. Um, brick laying, you know, you're not really that well paid. Uh, you know, there is times in some way you can make some good money, but you have to be on the right side. You've got to be on the right material. These bricks, you know, today if I'd have really pushed the boat out, I could have maybe laid six or seven hundred on this lift, but I was uh, distracted for an hour making some phone calls and stuff, and uh, I was, you know. I had an hour, you know, back and forward with my chest to the uh, to the toilets and stuff, coughing and spluttering. But if I'd have really put my head down, I could have maybe laid an extra 150 brick, make, you know, got to about 700, 750. Um, but yeah, you know, this you can still get the volumes down on these on these uh, heavy bricks, but you know, it's it's not always ideal for making money you know there is better you know better types of work than what i'm on for making money and uh, that's why all in all you know i don't think the prices are enough you know at the moment i know a lot of places are paying over 600 a thou i think we should be in the sevens at least um and um, and higher because with the weather and all that stops you with you know the uh with sight uh, with the teething problems with sites, with drawings being, you know, there's there's uh, like sometimes communication errors and stuff, uh, stuff when you if you ever drop any bollocks or make any mistakes like I have, you know, you pay for them daily, you know, so you know there is a lot of things for, uh, you know, to consider, you know, when on price and on when be wanting to become a bricklayer, it's a harsh game. It's a harsh game. It's shit, really. It is really. It's sh it. It's it's good because you have a freedom of your hours. You earn good money for the hours that you're doing, but it's not. Um, it's not as a well respected trade as say an electrician or a plumber. Uh, I don't find you get as much. Um, you know, you're not as a, you're probably one of the least appreciated trades to be quite honest, bricklayers. But you know, there's a very very few number of us now. There's less and less each year. And I completely understand why. Um, and hopefully, you know, hopefully we'll become a specialist trade in, in time because, you know, uh, with the uh, with how how stringent and how cock on the one in all these uh, houses these days, you know, there's very, there's less and less um, people who can build to that standard. Because if you look at an old house, everyone talks about, you know, new, new builds being crap. At the moment... 
the new a lot of new houses are, are, are to a really high standard, especially the brickwork. I can't speak for the internals of the house, but especially the brickwork on a lot of sites now, they're wanting it really, really cock on. Everywhere I've been, really, the the, the very the very stringent when it comes to either Red Row or where I'm working here. Um, there's not a lot of rough work that gets passed compared to you look at an older house. You look at a house that was built after the Second World War. You know the tolerances are nowhere near. Um, you know what the one in these days. So for the masonry, I think so. We're, some of the best masonry is being produced at the moment. There's. There's obviously these horror stories of odd rough firms and rough outfits getting away with a few things, but that's very small percentage compared to a majority of sites. So, um, you know, um, I'd say that, you know, it's uh, it, there's going to be less and less bricklayers coming into this game over the years. And uh, unless there's a sort of industry change or unless there's a, a sort of a generational change where, People want to become bricklayers. Bricklayers get, you know, we get uh, bad weather pay or something like that. You know, even even with like, say, we work for an house builder, all bricklayers have a, a mandatory, you know, bad weather pay. You know, for so many weeks of the year, you know, uh, like an incentive almost to build houses for that firm, or you know, all sorts of. If there don't isn't more incentives over the years, I I find I can see the trade getting less and less so in if i speak if i'm speaking to you in 20 years there's definitely going to be a, a noticeable change there so anyway guys i'll go, get on with the next the next part of the video and uh hope you guys so, are enjoying it so far we've got a datum set here 850 from this brickwork here so we originally said that this side is 20 mil low to his high side which worked well with us uh, window former over there, so we went to his highest point. So we picked this up 20 mil from 825 to 850. And come over here just to show you why that was why that had to be the case. Just like to say before anyone points this out, I have gone uh, a few bricks too many on this last four course. I needed to take off about eight bricks and leave it racked back for my lintel. I was just trying to make a point about the back pillar being level uh, to the opposite datum so I'll be doing that on Monday uh, just so you guys know I am actually aware of that uh, so yeah anyway I'll carry on the video I'll put my level on this this, ret this uh, return here you can see that line's sagged a bit because uh, the, the sag but that is now level that back pillar is now level you can see that so that's the reason. Now this is my sort of new datum height now. I've got to make sure this runs level, that runs level. It's pretty simple, you know what I mean? There's no, you don't have to get your head too mixed up with measurements. So we got this done this morning. It's 8 uh, 11.24. Got here, start laying at about 9 o'clock. Quarter past 9, so. Got another tub up on two tubs today. And we're gonna, uh, gonna do a bit more after snap for a few more hours. Let's try get that front up. Call it a day. Right, I'm YouTubing. So this is the setup we've got here. Um, got it set up right down here for about fucking fuck knows how many profiles. Uh, just taking all my pump points away. All my cuts are done as you can see, all the way up. It took me about an hour to set all this up, but it'll fly up. And we're only doing another couple of hours anyway, so we might not even get it finished. But we're gonna have a go, try to get about nine course up, six or seven, eight course maybe, and then we'll. Uh, I think we're gonna get off. Yeah, I'll see you in the next time lapse. I can't wait to leave this town, cause they the I've been feeling down. The cold nights just don't feel the same. Oh.
So there we go. About 550 brick, I think. Yeah. So that's all up to the frame. You can see all them clear the other frame nicely. Um, we 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 you know within a couple of mil. So now above here we'll pick up about five mil to get over as soldiers, and then we'll you know make sure everything runs good. So we've got 850 there on that corner. This is for my own reference. An 855, that one's um, 5 mil lower. So, you know, yeah, it's all going. Not a bad Friday, really. So, get this finished off on Monday, then we'll drop down to the same again. Oh, should be far off on Wednesday. Alright, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one.